we are having a potato salad showdown. Julie and I both love potato salad, and given that 4th of July is right around the corner, we want to equip you with two different kinds of potato salads. I mean, I will say I love both of these kinds of potato salads. Julie, on the other hand, needs to be convinced. All right, so the two different kinds of salads that we are preparing today are a mayonnaise-based salad and a mustard vinaigrette kind of base salad because I am mayo averse. I don't want that one. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. All right. I have some chopping to do, but Julie is going to walk us through her very special potato salad. I like this one because the like creaminess of the potatoes, I think, add enough of that kind of like richness and the vinaigrette kind of cuts through all of that. So mm -hmm. I have a, about a quarter of a cup of finely diced shallot. You can use red onion. I personally like shallots better, but whatever you have on hand. I'm also going to add three tablespoons of Dakota's olive oil. <laughs> two hefty, you can even do two and a half tablespoons of, I'm using a grainy mustard. If you only have Dijon on hand, that's fine. Next, I'm going to add in about a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Last but not least, about a quarter of a cup of dill. If you are dill averse, I hated dill until probably six months ago. And I would say now I can handle it in small doses. Honestly, this has been next to me for the last five minutes and it's really strong. Pungent. Pungent. About a half a teaspoon of salt more to taste, so just kind of keep that in mind. And then about half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. If you had a whisk, it'd be easier. Hmm. Those are pretty coarsely chopped shallots, but it's gonna add a little bit of extra crunch. Whoa! Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Eat it off. <laughs> Needs salt. Does it? Yeah. Does need salt. Great. All right. Show me what you got. All right. So first, the most important ingredient. Uh oh, I can't open it. Oh my god! It's a tiny jar. <laughs> I'm not letting you open it for me on With camera. With these babies? I'm not letting it happen. Mm. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay. I think a potato salad with mayo of like coming out of a giant tub from Costco. I get it. I mean, when I used to work at Hoagieville, I had to make the ranch <laughs> <laughs> and it was like five gallon buckets mm. of mayonnaise, not even the good kind. It like makes me want like gag. Add ranch powder and then you'd have to stir it and it would take your whole body. So we'll start with three quarters of a cup of mayo, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Honestly, I'm just gonna take this. I don't wanna have to get it out of there. Two tablespoons of white wine vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar, you could use Red wine vinegar, you use apple cider vinegar. Honestly, I feel like it's good to use white wine vinegar because mm -hmm. it doesn't change the color when you're using when you're mayo. You may want it to be pure white, but like an angel. Like a virgin. Hmm. So then about three tablespoons of minced shallot. I like mine very fine, a lot finer than Julie. Mm -hmm. You could also do red onion, you mm -hmm. can do chopped scallions, the white and the green part. Yeah, that'd be good. I love that as well. Two tablespoons of freshly squeezed lemon juice, a teaspoon of salt. I also salt the potatoes, so I'm just gonna start there and then taste it. So the other thing is obviously the herbs. Um, you could do dill like Julie. I'm gonna do a little, but I don't like dill, so I'm not. Um, I don't like dill. I don't like dill. You're learning to like it. I'm learning to like it because I don't like being limited by my taste buds. About two tablespoons of 
chopped parsley. That's really pretty. <laughs> Two <laughs> tablespoons of freshly chopped tarragon. Who do you think looks better? Please. That looks like a bowl of milk. <laughs> People love bowls of milk, like cats. Okay, pass the potatoes. Pass the potatoes. I partook about two pounds of a mixture of little red potatoes and fingerling. So I'm just gonna kind of like roughly chop these into chunks. Not too concerned about them being like all the same size. Another important thing about potato salad is not overcooking your freaking potatoes. And it's hard. Like, bring it up to temp. Once it starts boiling, turn it down. Let them kind of simmer mm -hmm. and check them frequently. Mm -hmm. Because they will continue to steam themselves, especially if they're in a colander or a bowl together. Right. So, like, put a fork in them. If it goes in, take them out. Um, what do you do next? So, I'm just going to add celery I thinly sliced. Though I do love like a fingerling potato, I actually opted for a Yukon Gold. Put these in a pot, covered it with cold water so they cook evenly, and added about a third a cup of kosher salt. Salt, salt. That is super important. It's just like pasta where you want the salt to permeate the potato, mm -hmm. the starchiness, um, and give it flavor so that you're not only adding it to its external mm -hmm. sauciness, but its inside. Mm -hmm. I cut them in half and then slice them into, I would say this is like a half inch, I think, maybe a little less. This is two pounds. I'm gonna add that in to my mayonnaise extravaganza. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, mama. All right, adding parsley. They're pretty in their own way, yeah. Like I said, this is very much me. Very much Dakota. I'm scared you're not gonna like mine because you don't like mayonnaise. I was just gonna say I'm excited to try yours. Ah, oh, this looks beautiful. That's a lot of dip well. I'm not overwhelmed. You're not? Mm -mm. And the tarragon. Love it. That's good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, I'm going back for seconds. Are you proud? What? Yeah, I think that mayonnaise-based potato salads get a bad rap because they can be really goopy where you can't distinguish between the potato and the mayonnaise mixture. All right, that's what I don't like. That freaks me out, mm -hmm. to be honest. But this is just like a kind of loose vinaigrette, honestly. Mm -hmm. The mustard flavor is delicious. The crunch is delicious. There's so much good celery. Um, even though I don't like dill, I'm still enjoying like the herbaceousness of this. See, there's something for everyone. There is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Which would you choose? Yeah. Now you need to make both and let us know. Battle Royale, your friends. Yeah. Maybe you won't be friends anymore. We almost didn't make it to this video. Suppose I almost stabbed me like two times. Mm -hmm. You almost stabbed me. Probably. <laughs>